You see, it got a little squat to him, but yeah, because he got a little weight on it. This thing, you know what I'm saying? Hey, listen, I don't baby my truck, man. You know what I'm saying? I work my baby. You know what I'm saying? I ain't get them extra leaf springs and all these extra, you know what I'm saying? Sturdy uh, components on my shit for me to not try to get in a little weight sometime. Yeah, you feel me? Hey, listen. I'm out here making it do what it do, baby. You know what I'm saying? You got a load, need to go somewhere. I'm going to take it. I ain't going to, hey, listen. As long as that joint will fit on the trailer. And the weight is proper. I'm gonna get him up there. You did. Shout out to the weight distributing bars. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Give it to me like. <laughs> Two hours straight, it ain't seen nothing but corn. My boy. All right, guys, I'm up here at this. Uh, hey, you see it behind me? Highway uh, Chevy over there. That joint. I uh, dropped this uh, suburban off. Our Yukon XL. It wasn't uh, as heavy as I thought it would be. It's only 5,600, so, you know, everything is all good over here on that tip. Look, no hang off. Just about as even with the back. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, there we go. The rock ships in the front. All right, so I'm getting a... Uh, Nice video of this. It's some couple little like I don't know surface dings on it right there. I guess I don't know, but I'm still up here as a dealer shit. So I ain't drove off or did nothing to that joint. Don't blame me. Everything else looks pretty uh, sufficient. Don't like to walk around. Let's get it. So, good morning, good morning, everybody out there. Hey, this is your boy Ty from White's Holland. Check this big joint out I got on here. So, we out here in. Des Moines, Iowa. Now, this is the vlog on my cross country trip. Finally going from, we started in West V, went up through Ohio, uh, through Columbus, went through Chicago or, you know, Indiana, the Illinois, made it to Des Moines, Iowa, dropped off in Illinois, picked up and, uh, Upper Iowa somewhere. Now I'm in Des Moines, headed towards Denver, Colorado. So I got this joint on the back. It's 6,400 pounds. And you guys see how the, how the Eco Beast, how I got the Eco Beast squatting. Not that much. But guys, first time going across country. And we're going to see how this thing goes. See you in a minute. Peace. All right, guys, what's going on? And gals, in the truck, headed down the highway. Just uh, headed out of Des Moines, headed towards Omaha, Nebraska. 
doing this cross country finally I tried to do it some months back probably like a year ago when I first started well not actually first started but still like new into the uh, venture tried to go cross country but I realized uh, a quarter of the way through I wasn't really prepared or set up for a cross country haul you know I had a lot of things done since then as far as the truck stability nothing really I could do to get more power or uh, you know horsepower or, or, or torque without putting a you know a booster on her you know uh pack or whatever you want to call it, you know what I'm saying, you know, get more torque, you know what I mean, horsepower, but bone stock, F-150, and I think I got a breather on here, put a breather on here, uh, cool air intake, but nothing other than that, now stability wise, put an extra leaf spring in the back, uh, I changed my springs on the trailer I think that was a quarter inch it went up a half inch something like that but they're a little more sturdier and stronger the springs on the trailer as well as added a leaf spring on the truck weight distributing bars uh, 10 ply tires just a couple things I've done to, to you know give the trailer and the truck more sturdiness. You know what I mean? That's all. But headed to Omaha. Well, headed through Omaha, Nebraska. Then I'm going to end up in Denver, Colorado. What I want to do, guys, is I want to do the Ike Gauntlet Challenge. I always watch TFL Trucking. Always seen I got them like man. I want to go on that thing one day if I ever go that way I'm gonna hit the I got them man and See what that eight mile 12% grade joint is like so I'm on the uh, Highway now guys like I said I'm just excited to uh, finally go across country Started in West Virginia ending in California well Hamlet, Huntington uh, right there on the border of uh, West Virginia and Ohio stopped in Columbus at home you know re rebooted real quick recharged and I've been out ever since guys so I think we on day number three and I'll keep you guys posted on the way so we're going to take this trip all the way to Cal Cali and back and uh, see what the rates are like, see what the uh, the country has to offer to old White Holland. We did it. Catch you guys in a minute. Peace. Good afternoon, good afternoon, everybody. Why I'm saying that? Because it's 12 o'clock. I'm coming to you live from Denver, Colorado. Actually, Thornton, Colorado. Close to Denver. I have a 2016 Mercedes-Benz S-Class Maybach edition. Maybach, or however you want to say it to pick up about 60 miles west from Denver headed to Las Vegas, Nevada so first for me and I'm glad you guys are able to come on this journey with me across country it's been a, a whirlwind if I could say I went through the tornado storm last night. I didn't get to film it because it was like, yo, that spooked me. I ain't gonna lie. I'm like, yo, what? Do what? Take cover now. What the fuck are you talking about? Where's the motherfucker at? Shit. Like, 
So I had to hurry up and, you know what I'm saying, put the Eco Beast to work, you know what I'm saying, them turbos, and get on up out of there last night, flying through a uh, Nebraska area, somewhere around there. I'm gonna, all my phones to start buzzing off, talking about some, hey, get to a shelter right now, it's a tornado coming through. If you don't, you might not make it out of it. Uh, whoa, man, what's going on, baby? Go ahead and pray to the gods about it. Let me keep me safe out here. But uh, now I'm headed to pick up this Benz. Catch y'all in a minute. Peace. Top of the mountain now, boys. Y'all don't even see 
see those snowflakes coming down. Yeah, y'all yeah, see them now. I know you do. Yeah, that's crazy. Snow coming down from the top of the mountain. I'm flying through here. About to hit up Aspen, Colorado. Go skiing for a minute. The Eisenhower Tunnel. So, if you guys don't know where I'm at, I think we're at the spot where TFL Trucking be doing the uh, Ike Gauntlet. Uh, yeah, Eisenhower Tunnel. Yeah, so the Ike Gauntlet, guys, we just, I think we just went up it. I don't know. I'm really not too familiar with this area, but I watch a lot of TFL trucking, and they always put in trucks to test up the Ike Gauntlet, so we're going to see if that's where we at. I'm out here, baby, taking care of this business, getting to this money. Y'all already know what it is. White's hauling. Come join the squad. That's what's up. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, yeah, for real though. Y'all see my man up there? He part of the one car hauler gang out here. White's hauling. One car hauler gang, you feel me? Let's get it. All right, boys and gals, coming down off the Ike Gauntlet. The truck did pretty well. Not overheating, nothing's going on. Temperature's all good. Engine breaking at 4,000 RPM in second right now. But yeah, I can't really say it was a true test because I only have an empty trailer on, but Eco Beast did his thing. I gotta say. Now I'm out here. I'm out here, yo. I'm not broke down. Not at all. I'm out here because I wanted to get a, a good view. Outside the car. The truck's going by. My man over there. I'm out here. Yo. I got a fucking, fucking mountain goats up there. Yo. Yo, boy. I'm pulled over on the side of the road in Colorado because I want to video of me out here. I'm not loaded, y'all see that? But I'm out here. I'm in the mountains, doing my thing. Feeling good, headed to Vegas. Let's go. Skiing around that joint. Uh -uh. All right, we just go ahead and take it off. There you guys, you guys see it now? Yeah, they're about to go skiing. Skiing. I wonder if this is—is is this? Hey, somebody comment below. Is this like the Aspens or? Oh, they go to ski. Y'all see the ski uh, lifts going up? I'm serious, y'all think I'm playing. I'm, I'm out here. My bag about to swerve and got TJ, stay in the lane, Ty, come on. And you guys, you need to understand something. I, and I mean this. On my life, you know what I'm saying? On my hood, you know what I mean? Adrian Brown and stuff. Listen, if I see, uh, come on, dog. I don't care about that. If I see any wildlife, okay? You guys check me out, hear me clearly. On life. I'm getting out right here, pulling over, telling the bear or elk or whatever I see, come here, I got some snacks for you, I need a selfie with you. Y'all trust me, y'all stay with me, because if y'all see, if y'all see it in this camera and I see it, we gonna both stop together, guys, and we gonna get a, some footage with a bear or elk or, is that, is that something right there? Okay, I'm telling you, let me, I'm telling you. 
I'm telling you, y'all gonna be very surprised if I tie in the comments, but it's gonna be too late then. I'm already be barefoot. But y'all gonna be like, Ty, don't get out. You crazy. That bear's gonna eat you alive. I need a, I need a picture. I need to let my fans and my subscribers know I'm out here. You know what I'm saying? I'm in. Is it, you see these little scrapes right here? What's that? You see these little scrapes right here? Oh, yeah. See, that's, those are, that's why I do videos. So that I don't get a, right. you know what I mean? Uh, uh, afford it for that what you have. <laughs> yeah you know what i mean so i like to i like to get a video while i'm still the shipper so they can everybody be on the same page yeah, no I get it. yeah i've been in about almost two years now yeah. and i learned my lesson in the beginning <laughs> <laughs> i had to pay a little hefty price uh for a rock chip man on, oh, no. that was was uh just not me you know not knowing being careful but now i know so Yeah, I seen it. Yeah, yeah, that's uh. I thought it might have been a fuzzy thing. <laughs> yeah, this is a nice car. I'm what I'm stoked about <laughs> is it that because they had on their S class the Maybach edition. I'm like, dude, that's a hard, that's a long, heavy vehicle. Yeah, no. <laughs> and now I pull up it. You said convertible. I'm like, sweet. <laughs> I don't got to ride through the mountains with the heavy ass truck. I mean, car. Like, hell. Cause I took that Bentley I showed you, and that thing is heavy. That thing is almost yeah. six thousand pounds. And this one. Yeah, I'm about to go. I'm telling you, I'm looking for bears, mountain lions, uh, mountain goats, little billy goats that be up there hanging on them cliffs. I'm out here. I'm, I'm gonna find one. I'm gonna stop. And I'm gonna be like, hey, you don't know me. My name Ty from White Holly. I got some snacks in the bag if you want. Let me get a picture. <laughs> Whoever doubting me, White Holland, hey, yo, we out here. You know what I'm saying? This company about to go big places far places to the moon like to the moon fuck it <laughs> they got a car need to be delivered on the moon hey uh uh how can i get there all right i got it i'll take it as long as they're paying me right Consider even yo, dating whose one cows more male reject in this. Like y'all see them cows? They're like, we out here in the middle of nowhere. Ain't no houses around. Like whose cows are them? Are they wild? Please tell me in the comments because I'm I'm really tripping over that. Like, like for real. Somebody said, whose cows are them? Cause they out here and they just roaming free. I ain't seen no houses forever, and I don't, all of a sudden. Cows is like popping up out of nowhere. Groups of them. Like they just they rode cows. They done ran away. Wait a minute. Now they ran into some, a snowstorm. What? What is going on? Okay. It was just, it was just hot an hour ago, riding through Salt Lake City, Utah. Now I'm in Salina, Utah. 
And I'm riding through like what sounds if you guys can hear hit the window. Hell. Hell storm. Like what is this going on? This is this is the on the trip to Vegas. This is the cross country trip. I wanted to show you guys I was gonna take with no fear. And an F-150 Eco Boost, Eco Beast, carrying one car hauler loads all across the country every time i drop one off i got one picked up already to keep moving in west so i'm letting people know officially with this video being posted it can get done don't have any fears of starting a, a little you know small guy you know starting uh, uh, you gotta crawl for you walk and and you're getting the experience as, as a small guy maybe you can start off with two three four car hauler if you want but if you in this uh, uh, realm right now, if you in this uh, position of wanting to get started and all you got is a 1500 truck, Chevy Ram, or a, a 150 Ford, and you feeling like, man, there's no way I could do it, I'm showing you in this video right here, you can go all across country with a one car hauler and get the job done. I'm living proof. I'm showing it can be done. I see that nice little, uh, yeah, just a regular uh, challenger. Nothing special. But uh, I'm gonna get back to this road and let y'all see. Big dog got this. Maybe uh, in the Colorado desert somewhere, I guess. I don't know, man, but I just ain't never seen no wild cows, man. Uh, I don't know about that one, man. Please somebody uh, explain to me in the comments. Because, again, this is my first time going cross country. I said I wanted to do it. I did it before, but I only got half. I, I started the trip before, but I only got halfway. Now, I got, I got the confidence you know what i mean i got the experience the truck sturdy ready to rock and roll i'm doing it and i'm showing it as i'm doing i'm i'm, I'm videoing my journey as i'm going to show you guys it can be done so anybody out there that want to do it y'all can go ahead and get it popping don't even play make sure you got some good windshield wipers that's all i say bam you feel me what wait a minute was that ice like come on man hey Come on, man. That's what I'm saying, man. Hey, I'm, I'm riding through ice storms for y'all, man. Let y'all see. It can be done. Please don't have no fear because you just got a little half done, a little, you know what I'm saying, 1500 or F 150. I'm like, oh, man, ain't no way I can do it. I got to be the 250, 350 dually. I got I to gotta get a 450. I might as well just get a, a mini semi before I can get out there. You're going to keep telling yourself that and you ain't going to go man just get on get a trailer get a car up there and get on that road and get some money in your pocket for real for real look guys you see more wild cows over there i, I don't know I, I don't know man i mean i don't know i, I have some shit i ain't never seen before I, I ain't never seen no cow just out roaming the land and they ain't got like no ranch, no cattle ranch to go to and somebody feeding them. And they out here just eating dirt, rock, and grass. Like, oh, this grass mixed with dirt. Man, it's crazy. Like, I, I just... 
to do some research on that one, man. Because I, I just, I, I'm sorry, guys. I just do not believe them cows are just out here roaming free. Ain't got no home. They just like, they just like drifters. They just running around out here. Man, listen. Oh, look at that little tunnel right there, yo. Oh, that was sweet. Let's see if I, I was that a tunnel? I know. Oh yeah, let me see if I can catch another video. Oh shit, you guys probably can't see it. A little bit of it. That was crazy. A whole tunnel in the middle of nowhere. everybody out there it's your boy ty white tallin coming back at you with another one early morning wake up video it's about 7 30 in the morning in vegas okay you know what i'm saying i'm up early but uh, i don't know if y'all can see it's about to drop the bins off pick up a couple more in cali you know what i'm saying make a couple runs down there and uh make it happen but just coming at you guys with a good morning. Hope everybody's safe out there on the road today. We're gonna get on this journey and get some good footage up in uh, California, baby. Let's go. All right, guys, I got out real quick. I want you guys to see what I get to see. The scenery out here is crazy. Yo, I'm about, yo, hold on. I'm, hold on. Y'all don't see what I, them is cactuses over there. Oh, I can't get through that fence. I'm a, let me watch out for, I get bit by a rattlesnake. <laughs> like them is whole cactuses over there, bro. I never seen cactus. I was trying to get that joint. I've seen no cactus before in my life, man. That's crazy, up but I am out here, man. Y'all see, y'all see your boy, man. I'm out here, yeah. Just left 
off out of Vegas a little while ago. Just sit back cruising, man, enjoying this nice weather, the nice scenery. Just blessed, man. Happy to be out here. You know what I mean? Finally exploring the West Coast after about a year and a half, almost two in the, in the business. Just wanted to be comfortable, you know what I mean, and get out. And, you know, like my man was saying, once you keep doing the same routes on the East Coast, man, it gets a little repetitive and boring. It's like, I'm ready to see something new. You know what I mean? I want to get out here and see the country for real. You know what I mean? I might not come back for another two months. No, I'm just playing. But, again, I'm out here, man. I'm loving this scenery. I'm loving this life right now, man. Just being a hot shot car hauler, going across country, making money. A, a paid vacation. You know what I'm saying? You know what it is. Run it up. They gave the community, they ain't letting the motherfucker back here, you hear me? Hey. Well, when I said they were in the gated community, the desert, for real, for real. Hey, they ain't letting nobody back through this joint. If you, you don't belong back here? No, sir. Can't come back here, sir. You waiting on who, sir? <laughs> Y'all did not possibly make the ego beast didn't have that. Come on, what's going on over here? Take the money I do make. Desert, I'm gonna turn left on Desert Tahaha. I'm on Desert Tahaha. Desert Tanaha Trail arrived. It's real out here. 
Uh, when, your, when your mailboxes got a home, that's how their mailbox they got a little home. Dang. Just to be no, it's back at it, man. If I come to see you, it's back at right here the other day as soon as I got it I knew it I'm like that thing is gonna start running like a damn runaway slave watch and sure enough whoop, got to like right here yesterday last night whoop, I guarantee by the time I get home it's gonna be yeah I got a rock chip right here yesterday and I knew it. I said, I bet as soon as that cold air hit it, that joint gonna start running like a runaway slave. And sure enough, got right here yesterday. And today, well, last night, I seen it creep on over here. I'm assuming by the time I get home, it's gonna have made its way either all the way down or up, right to the upside, like uh, Bitcoin, you know what I'm saying? Or in a bearish market, if you guys know anything about charts, it's gonna go in a bearish market, you know and I'm saying and go down. But if it go in a bullish market, woo, that thing going up, Bitcoin. <laughs> Check me out, baby. Y'all see it? That's the ocean headed towards San Francisco and Ventura, uh, California. Hey, listen. I'm out here, you feel me? Hey, I'm out here. Y'all see the ocean. I done showed y'all, here, let me hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen, I done showed y'all the ocean all the way on the East Coast, you know what I'm saying? I went from Virginia Beach to San Francisco Bay, you hear me? I'm out here. Man doing it, he's sliding through, you know what I'm saying? Like he getting chased by the boys with that bag on the back with the money in it. Listen, I'm out here putting mouths on these on these wheels. Heavy. Nothing light work. There ain't no light work going on here. It's heavy work. You hear me?
beautiful scenery. Walk to you guys by White's Hauling Services. Please enjoy. in Los Alamos, California. And as you'll see, the gas is five dollars a gallon. <laughs> My G. Now, you know I'm coming from Ohio. I ain't used to that. Now I knew it could probably get crazy, but five dollars a gallon? Come on guys, that's crazy. Like, I can't even imagine paying five dollars a gallon in Ohio. Arizona. Just got this joint loaded up. Checking the straps. Ooh, tight, son. See them shits? Mm, tight, son. Yo, so I can need it. I got some new straps in my overtime, guys. The uh, straps will start to wear. I don't know why they don't make them strong enough around this area to uh, withstand, uh, you know, weather conditions but 
Yeah, so my other one snapped yesterday. I'm gonna have to get a new one. Let's see what it is, guys. I'm out here in Yama, Arizona, headed to Albuquerque, New Mexico. It's your boy, man. White tall, and I'm out here making it happen. You heard me? Caught a dime with a nickel when I should have Coming out the desert. Now this is one for the boy. Now this is one for the channel. I just stopped and got this electric joint. That's that, that joint all electric, no gas. I'm out here in the Colorado mountains. Let's see him back there. I'm out here, yo. It's crazy. My man's house is all the way up there. Luckily, he came down to meet me with the four wheeler in tow. This, uh, uh, but his house is all the way up there. Bruh, crap. Oh, there, y'all can tell on, y'all can see it. There you go, up there. A little bit up there, y'all see it? Man. And I'm out here, and the mountains is over there. It's snow on them joints. Horse, ranch, cattle. It's crazy out here. Hey, this is the adventures I like to come on for my channel, man, for people to see. White's hauling, man. I'm out here in a one-car hauler. EcoBeast F-150. Getting it done, you heard me? For real. I done got out. Parked the joint. Get a good view. You see the mountains up there? Man, look at this cliff, y'all. Yeah, look at this. Look at this scenery down there. Just crazy. Plan to get you even better. And they are 
there and smashing, but fading away. Like this joint. I'm sorry, man. I just had to get oh, a little yeah. video of it, man. This joint is. Y'all see the wide tires on this joint, man? Look at this. Oh, and it's manual? Oh, come on, man. Y'all already know this is getting rubber as soon as he pull up. Look at the wide tires, man. All right, guys. Mm -hmm. I gotta tell my man he got sports flying. Oh, it's ramp. He's done lost his ramp. That's his ramp. Pull up and tell my man. Better be more careful with the equipment, guys.